The Count system in Plunderer is something to me which is pretty unique to this series and I love the aspects they have put into place here. So I thought we would spend this video looking into that in a bit more detail. But for more weekly anime character fact videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video and a quick warning that there may be spoilers in this video. Anyway, with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. Count is what is known as the life system that the people of Althea live by, and this count is pretty much what is keeping them alive. Each person has a count, and this number is unique to each person and is defined to something related in their life. This number is also randomly displayed on a person's body. It is unknown as to if this is placed due to a specific reason, but if you have watched any of my other Plunderer videos, you know that my view on the numbers placement is that the series creators have really thought about fan service here as the placement of Hina's being on her very inner thigh and Nana's being on her boob are prime examples. Totally cool with this FYI. Like I mentioned, these counts are a person's life force and once that number drops to zero, they will be taken to the abyss, which is basically death, kinda. It is said that this mysterious place is a worse suffering than death itself. I shall look into doing a short video on the abyss very soon. So these numbers, like I mentioned, are a reference to a certain aspect of someone's life, such as Hina's whose count is the amount of kilometers she has walked and one of Lick's count measures the amount of heads he has decapitated. So they can vary in their extremes, but they can be anything from compliments given to them or how many times someone has said their food is delicious and so on. This number can also define a person's battle power, but also their social authority or standing. A person with a high count has authority to command those with a lower count to their own. The person with the lower count cannot betray the person with the high account, and if they do, they can challenge them to a star stake. The final thing to discuss regarding these counts is that there are two ways of improving your own count. One is of course by doing whatever your count is counting, I guess. So for Hina it would be just to walk more, as an example. The other way is in combat and in special bouts that are known as star theft bouts or star stakes like I mentioned earlier. The winner of these star stakes battles will have their own count increase at the expense of the loser's count which is reduced to one regardless of how high their count was prior Prior to the star theft bound. But thanks for watching this is my video count explained from the series plunderer. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see more videos like this from the series let me know in the comments. And a quick shout out to Warwick for supporting me on Patreon as well as the beautiful bunch displayed on the screen and of course the rest of you supporting me on the other tiers. You guys are awesome thank you so much for supporting me if you're interested in what rewards I have to offer on my Patreon the link is in the description. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video check out those other links in the video description and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time, my fellow weebs, peace!